All right, peace and greetings, YouTubers. BET Honors 2013. Let me just jump right into this video. I was very excited about making this video because this was my third time going to BET Honors, and on top of that, they finally, finally, Lord, I thank you, gave me a good freaking seat. Front freaking row. Not center, front, center, front row left, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. But I was freaking happy because, look, I done went like three times. I went 2010, 2012, and last, or this last month or whatever, and every time I would go, I'd always get some crappy, nosebleed, side chick, not important, back alley seat. So I'd be like the left back aisle corner seat 62, row V, or whatever. Or I'd be by the bathroom, or by the bar, or the seat filler pit, or whatever. So, I was ecstatic when they happened to move me in the very front. I was like, is this a mistake? Whatever. So like the whole show, I was just sitting there because what happens is when you go as a seat filler, they always you're constantly moving because you're constantly filling up the seats that are not filled when the celebrities get up and go to the bathroom and crap. So the entire time during the show, I'm sitting there like y'all better not move it because I said I'm not moving from this seat. I just it's not gonna happen. So every time the people would come with their walkie talkies, I'd be looking at the floor and stuff and acting like I couldn't see nobody. But fortunately, there was nobody assigned to my specific seat, so I got to sit there the whole show. So I just thank you. Mother Mary for having baby Jesus because I know you went all through little Bethlehem and Jerusalem wherever y'all stayed at and all the neighborhood used to talk about you because you was walking around talking about you was pregnant by God and everybody talked about you but I thank you because I had a good seat and I should probably stop playing with the Lord before I get struck by lightning but um I was excited that I had a good seat now what was funny was when the theater was filling up you know like they usually play some nice regal music and play all the nice family fun reunion maze and Frankie Beverly before I let go type of stuff while the celebrities and the dignitaries and politicians and important people come and sit down but I believe they had like a 19 year old intern from freaking no I'm not gonna say that that's not nice but basically they, whoever that 19 year old intern was they had to be in charge of the music because we're sitting there and, and my friend Tanae went with me too so who had a whole bunch of camera time the girl in the teal green dress every five seconds she was on camera but um they um they're having a little music on and I'm sitting there and then I hear this bass line from a song that sounds real familiar like something I've heard at the club a few times I hear doom I said like, wait a minute I know this crap and then out of nowhere doom throw it up throw it up I said, I was like, oh, really? Strippers going up and down that pole? I was like, at BET Honors, though. And, and, and mind you, so the strippers are going up and down that pole, and T.D. Jakes and the deaconesses and the missionaries and all of them are walking in or whatever, and, and the mayor's walking in. I was like, this is so embarrassing or whatever. And what was funny is, that song came on, and every single ratchet person that was in that theater, which were majority seat fillers, all, ah! I said, see, I can tell who's supposed to be in here and who is not. Lord. But it, it was kind of funny, but I was like, okay, so that, that intern, whoever was in charge, look, y'all need to get rid of that person. Uh, Genevieve Nixon, Stephen Hill, whoever does BET on us, call me next time. I can do the music, all right? I got some good Earth, Wind & Fire we can play. I'm talking about Earth, Wind & Fire when they were still called the Salty Peppers. Anyway, um, so let me get into the show. I'm ranting. Erica Badu opens the show, and she does, she starts out the tribute with Shaka Khan, and she busts out the What You Gonna Do For Me. Erica nailed it. Just killed it. It sounded good. It was funky. The band was... Just playing with it, the bass, the everything. And it sounds even better when you're actually there. I wish you guys could really just be there hear how it sounds. It sounds so much better when you're there as opposed to on TV. Um, so Erica did no wrong in my book. It was just perfect. Um, and what was kind of cool is when we, after the show, when she was leaving out, the girl that was next to me, who had this girl that was in green, she told the girl that like she was really beautiful. I was like, okay, well, Erica, how do I look? But she kept walking. <laughs> but um, anyway... Um, after Erica, Gabrielle Union had came and she did her whole set and everything. Gabrielle Union is always really funny. She had like a 10 minute monologue. They cut it and chopped it so you probably only saw like 2 minutes of it. Um, and Kelly Rowland had came out and did her thing. And of course Kelly just looks freaking awesome. Especially after the Super Bowl. I'm still on a Kelly high. Um, so they did the whole Shaka tribute. Lettucey comes out. Lettucey does Everlasting Love. And Ain't Nobody and My Computer's doing a lot. This is why I need to get a Mac. And um... It was so good that, like, Lettucey just came out and just, she schooled everybody. Just came out and just, Lettucey has such a high range and a strong belching voice. And it's funny because she can stay up there and that would be her pocket. Like, a lot of artists, when they belt or whatever, if it's not really in their range, they're straining and jumping around the note to hit it. She hits the note and then hits the note higher than the note and dances above the note. And then comes back down to it and brings us home. I said, but Lettucey... 
<laughs> they always do it up for BET Honors. That's the one thing BET can get right. If they can't get nothing else right, they can always do BET Honors. So Let Us See does great. Shaka Khan comes out, does her speech. It's kind of funny because they don't show it, but she like messed up. So she starts cussing and crap. And um, she has a really funny personality. We didn't know if she was a little on something that night. You know, because she did used to kick it with Natalie Cole back in the day. But, you know, um, she was still a legend. She just, she just kept fidgeting and couldn't sit still. Kind of like how I'm doing now as I do this video. But um, Shaka Khan, we, we love her. We love her. It was good. Um, Anthony Anderson, was. it was kind of funny when he came out. He was sitting in the section. He was sitting like right behind me, like somewhere on this side. When he first came in, before the show started, it was funny because he came in with this white woman. And nothing against white people. We love everybody. But um, he comes out and he makes this announcement. He's like, okay, everybody listen up. Now, before y'all even start thinking anything, this white woman is Wayne Brady's publicist. I was like, that's so, that's so damn tacky. God, that's horrible. But, and the woman is like red in the face, like, and she gave him one of those little punches on the arm, like, you jerk. But it, it was kind of funny, so that was kind of funny. And um, let me see, they start to honor Lisa Leslie, and I didn't realize she was 6'5". I knew she was tall, but damn. And, um, you know, I, I just wanted to be 5'11". That's all I asked for, Lord, but you stopped me at 5'8". And for some reason, I have these really long limbs. But no, none of this here. This part is short, but whatever. So Lisa Leslie comes out, and she has a lot of her basketball friends there, too. A lot of women were there. So, and they were so tall. Like, they'd walk past, and you'd just be like, wow. Like, I felt so unimportant sitting there next to these tall women. Like, they were tall. And they were beautiful, too. They were tall. I'm like, I felt so emasculated. I felt like a little boy. Like, God. But anyway... So Lisa Leslie gets her tribute, and she's just really humble, has a great personality, and I really appreciated what she said about why all children should deserve a really great education, no matter what their zip code is or area code is. I really appreciated that, because that, that's the truth. These kids be getting ripped off as far as education in America. That's another video, though. Um, moving right along, Cedric the Entertainer comes out, he does his little set, and he presents for T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes is cool or whatever, and it's funny because they bring out Kim to do the T.D. Jakes tribute, and it was kind of weird having... Kim saying, you know, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Can't Hide Love, which is kind of a very sexual song. So watching him sing that for the bishop and, you know, hey, girl, you know, it was like, you know, I, I said a quick prayer and anointed the entire theater just in case God was a little pissed off. You know, it, it was good, though. Kim was really great. He was actually really great when I saw him at the Jill Scott concert. Um, Men Condition performs, and they were great, too. The only thing about Men Condition was um, they sounded so much better when I was there. On TV, it didn't come off as well, and I think it's just because, you know, when you do the award shows, a lot of the times, the vocals are coming in through a different channel than the music, So sometimes, and they, and they layer it on top of each other, so then when you hear it live, it doesn't sound right sometimes, and it, I kind of, it sounded a little weird. It was still good, though, and uh, so Main Condition was great. Yeah, I appreciate the live band, and I like that they said support live music afterwards. Um, I'm skipping Brandy, which I should be slapped in the face for doing. Brandy... Freaking came out and nailed that damn song. That song without you off her 211 album, which you should all go and buy. Even though this is aphrodisiac, you can still buy 211. It's still Brandy. Great album. So I was excited for Brandy to come out. As a matter of fact, I've seen her like three times in the last three months. Maybe I'm becoming a stan. But I only stand for Obama and Janet, so I don't know. But it was really good. Brandy just nailed that. So hopefully people go and buy her CD. Give the girl a chance. Let her at least get to 200,000 copies. Okay? If y'all can get Trinidad James, you can get 211. Hell, it's 211 today. But, um, anyway, oh, rest in peace, Whitney, it's been a year also. Um, moving right along, um, Wayne Brady had a hilarious freaking skit. As that was freaking hilarious. That, that was good. Like, when he first came out, everybody was like, oh, okay, what's he about to do? And he came out with the heart. I'm like, what the, what the hell is he about to do? But it, that was a great improvision. That was really well put together. Like, that was really, really funny. And I appreciated that. And it's funny because Wayne Brady is very family friendly, but at the time, same time, he can be very entertaining to adults, so it was good. And that was after they did the Clarence Avant tribute, which Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis also um, were a part of dealing with the whole condition. Like, that was really exciting to see Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis there, too, who are just legendary. Like, you talk about the most successful production act from the 80s and second most successful production act from the 90s behind Babyface. So. That was really great. Um, this computer, I'm telling you, man, see, this is why I'm feeling stupid when I go to the Microsoft store at the mall, and it's right across the street from the Apple store, because I got to go in there for mess like this. But, um, this laptop's doing the most. Um, let me hurry up. Felicia Rashad comes out to honor Holly Berry, and I'm telling you, when Felicia freaking comes out, the entire theater is just in an uproar, because this Felicia, this is our Claire Huxley, so everybody's in there screaming, I'm in there acting stupid. 
I was out or whatever. I'm foaming at the mouth and crap. And like, they cut it so short on TV, but the crowd really cheered for this lady for like five minutes or whatever. To the point where she had to just nicely tell us to shut the hell up and sit down. So she, you know, they're, we love you, Claire Huxable. Oh, oh. And she was like, but for my purpose. And then all of us was like, oh. Sat down shut, and just shut up. We just sat and paid attention quietly. So it was really great. She just has a great elegance about her. Um, just She's just so dignified and just well put together. Like everybody just, how can you not like Felicia Rashad? It was just so good. Um, Holly Berry's tribute was excellent. Alicia Keys came and performed Brand New Me, which I was thankful for because I was like, Lord, if you love me, and I know you've let me sit in the front row this whole time, and I know I keep asking for a lot, but please don't let her do Girl on Fire, because at this point, where is Smokey the Bear to put this fire out? Or can we get a fire hose extinguisher? Because this Girl on Fire, I, how much ash? Too many ashes. But I was thankful she sang Brand New Me, because I, I really liked that song, and it was really good live. It was great. It was a great performance. The dancers were good, or whatever. Excellent. So it just, it was really great. Um, moving right along. Um, basically after that it was the SOS, <clears throat> SOS band who closed the show out and um, you know they did just be good to me and tell me if you still care and um, take your time to do it right and at this point I was making sure I was trying to get some camera time so I was singing hard and I finally got my two seconds at the end of the show if you didn't notice I had a green scarf on but um, I was trying hard to get my little two seconds of camera time SOS band sounded really good too they were funky I think they're missing some people but um, it was good BT honors just they always do it right um, no complaints. One thing that was funny with Holly Berry when they were filling up the arena originally, um, there's this comedian, I cannot think of her name, but she's really funny. She was there last year too, but she was entertaining everybody as they filled in. And she did this joke and she was like, you know, is there anybody in there or in here right now who's paying child support? And at first it's just dead silence and everybody's looking at her, you know, wrap it up. And then out of nowhere, Holly Berry was like, I, me girl, it's, it's me. I, we hit like, it was whole theater just falls out dying because you know Holly Berry got two white men fighting over her like you bad Holly you got two white men fighting over you get it so you know it was funny like everybody knows what's going on with Holly so it was just hilarious and it was great to see her like humble down and kind of feel like she was one of the crowd like and on top of that Holly Berry in person is just uh, Holly Berry just looked good like you know it was funny because a lot of people thought they looked real good that night until Holly Berry walked in she reminded all of us why she's Holly Berry like people were just like Dang, and she was only like six or seven seats down from me and across the aisle. So, you know, during half the show, I just kept looking over there. I kept looking at her, and I kept looking at Gabrielle Union, and I kept looking at Kelly Rowland. And those three women, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for cre being, cre being creative when you made us, Lord. I thank you. Amen. But anyway, I need to go to bed. Um, BET Honors was really great. Um, share your thoughts. What did you think about BET Honors if you watched it? If not, I'm sure you, the performances are on YouTube by now. You know, people be fast or whatever, especially the Brandy stands. I know that Brandy clip is already up. That Brandy performance was great. Y'all need to really watch that. Um, I'm out. I don't know if I'll be there next year. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'll be doing with my life because right now my life is a mess, but it's going to come together. Subscribe. Deuces. Good night.